Hi, my name's Lucas. My name's Chelsea. My background is in mechanical engineering. And mine's in global public health, and we're interested in regenerative agriculture, homesteading, and getting into direct market meat sales of grass-fed beef. My family has a ranch in northern New Mexico where we raise cattle. And currently our land is showing signs of compaction and degradation. And this video is about one method we have been pursuing in order to reverse those effects. We first learned about keyline design through Quivera workshops. The main goal of keyline design is to manage water as it moves across a landscape. This is done by using a tractor to create thin channels into the landscape using knowledge of the topography of the land. The creator of this method, P.A. Yeoman, developed a plow for this purpose called the Yeoman's Plow. Um, the ideal Yeoman's Plow rips thin channels in the land without inverting the soil. A new key line was what our land needed, so last spring we applied for a grant through our Soil Water Conservation District to key line 40 acres of irrigated pasture. Unfortunately, we didn't get this grant, so we started thinking about how we could complete this project on a smaller number of acres with a smaller budget. I thought this was important to do this year as a proof of concept to show both family and future grant applications that this technique could work on our high desert landscape. So in order to make it happen, uh, we reached out to our network for our ideas and advice, and we'll list acknowledgements at the end of the video. As an outline, our project plan involved designing and building a Yeoman's Plus substitute, learning the land's topography via drone mapping and GPS, key lining the fields, and seeding the field. So now we'll give you a tour of the Ripper, uh, and the background story, and then talk more about the planning, process, and implementation of the project. Hi, uh, so this, uh, this is our tractor and um, bootstrapped together Yeoman's Plow uh, that we created uh, with the help of the Seeding Regenerative Agriculture and the makerspace in Las Cruces. Uh, we uh, essentially bought a ripper. And so this is the ripper that's been modified through that uh, program. And so we bought a ripper. And the main thing that we did is we got these uh, tips on here, which are um, wombat tips that are Yeoman's Plow wombat tips. And they're, they're knock-on tips that are added on there. Uh, so we have two rippers on here. We started with three, the new bolts broke. And now we have two, um, and we added these tires here uh, in order to control the depth. Seeding Regenerative Agriculture Group came up with this idea to include an injector. Um, we, uh, they, the neighbor space in Las Cruces put on a 55 gallon tank here. They uh, put on a 12 volt water pump, um, which we discovered was a bit too powerful, so we opted to use just gravity feed. Um, David Johnson of M NMSU uh, sent us some bioreactor compost, which we hung inside this tent to make a compost tea. Um, and then it just fed down uh, through these hoses and injected the compost tea right after the rip line. In order to know where to run the river, we had to know the topography of the land. The typical approach was using a laser level, but we knew that we needed to study the topography of the land to identify the features and for a key line design planning. So in the beginning of the project, we flew a drone to create an elevation map of the landscape to do just that. After looking at the elevation map, our goal became to create our design on the map and then transfer that design exactly to the fields. We quickly realized that we needed a much more precise map and GPS system in order to transfer the design exactly. Coincidentally, our friend Mike Chang had been following our pro progress through social media and reached out to us. Turns out, he had been thinking about the same thing for years and had just acquired the technology and software to pursue consulting on keyline projects using a mapping and GPS-based method. So we planned a long work weekend and he came out to help us map the field, create the design, and then install the design. This is what the field looked like before. This is the contour map, contour lines at every foot. And this is the map showing the design we drew, the key lines in blue. 
The motivation of our design was to gently move water from the valleys to the ridges via a 1% gradient. We used the contour lines into, to inform how we drew the design. The final step of the process was the installation of the keyline design using Mike Chang's super accurate and precise map. All we had to do was walk with the GPS unit along the keyline, mark it with paint, and rip along those lines. We did some infield adjustments in areas where there were tall grass and uncertain altitude, but otherwise the design we drew was exactly what we wanted. We're going to see a diverse seed mix in the rip lines this fall before a snowfall, and we'll see the rest in spring before runoff. Now enjoy some beautiful footage of our project. i uh -huh.